close NFL commissioner Roger Goodell made a statement to the media saying, We believe everyone should stand for the national anthem. USA Today when NFL players, owners and the commissioner met in New York last October ostensibly to talk about protests, President Trump and the controversy surrounding quarterback Colin Kaepernick, some of the owners seemed more concerned with the image of the league and the impact of criticism from the White House, according to audio at the meeting obtained by the New York Times. The newspaper characterized the meeting as both sides talking past each other. Philadelphia defensive lineman Chris Long said if Kaepernick were on a roster all this negativeness and divisiveness could be turned into a positive. And Eric Reed, a former teammate of Kaepernick's, said he felt the quarterback was being blackballed. I feel like he was hung out to dry, Reed said, according to the Times. Everyone in here is talking about how much they support us, nobody stepped up and said we support Colin's right to do this. We all let him become public enemy number one in this country, and he still doesn't have a job. At one point, New England owner Robert K. Kraft said he wanted to talk about this kneeling. And then he took a shot at Trump, whom he has supported. The problem we have is, we have a president who will use that as fodder to do his mission that I don't feel is in the best interests of America. It's divisive and it's horrible," said Philadelphia owner Jeffrey Lurie, referencing Trump's critical tweets and comments about the NFL. We've got to be careful not to be baited by Trump or whomever else. We have to find a way to not be divided and not get baited. Lurie called Trump's presidency disastrous and urged players and owners not to be divided. The meeting lasted three hours and concluded with a joint statement calling it productive. Looking back now, former NFL kicker activist Chris Cluey sees significance in the owner's positions. I'm not surprised at all, he told USA Today on Wednesday. It was clearly obvious all along that the owners are just interested in making more money. That's been clear for years, whether we are talking about concussions, prescription pills or not letting a player PC protest. He also does not believe Kaepernick will play again. I don't think the owners sat around and said collectively, we are not going to give Cop a job. But they are close-minded and not brave enough to deal with the backlash if they do sign him. On the comments of Kraft, Lurie, and Long, Cluey said, Kraft and Lurie say they don't agree with Trump, but they had no answer when Chris Long asked why Kaepernick hasn't been signed. Their words don't match their actions. The owner's actions, in fact, show they are willing to support Trump by their silence. Kaepernick started kneeling in 2016 as a protest against racial injustice and police brutality. Reed was the first player to kneel alongside him and, according to the Times, attended the meeting, wearing a Kaepernick t-shirt. At the time of the rather extraordinary gathering, NFL TV ratings were dropping, fans were threatening to boycott and sponsors were becoming disgruntled with the league, as more than 200 players knelt during the anthem as a peaceful protest. Bills owner Terry Pegula said the NFL was under assault and suggested the league needed a player. Spokesperson, comparable to Charlton Heston's former role with the National Rifle Association, as a way to clean up the league's image. For us to have a face, as an African-American, at least a face that could be in the media, Pegula said, we could fall in behind that. Texans owner Bob McNair urged players to stop kneeling. You fellas need to ask your compadres fellas, stop that other business, let's go out and do something that really produces positive results, and we'll help you," he said. According to a person with knowledge of the meeting, neither the players nor the owners were aware they were being recorded, though it is not clear who did the taping. The person requested anonymity because of the sensitivity of the subject. Contributing, Jared Bell followed Gleason on Twitter at Scott and Gleason, Perez at Bi Perez and Bell at